So very patiently indeed, the field of LMP2s, LMP3s and GTEs as all part of the European Le Mans series for 2022 funnel their way out of the final corner and a brand new season for 2022 is go. Side by side down into Verrerie, and it is time and van der Helm just about hanging on to things. Although one car going straight on and to the lead of the race, which may well have been the Prima racing car of Lorenzo Colombo. Surely he'll have to give that place back again shortly. But they arrive at Villa, Virage de la Hotel in that order, turns three, four, and five back up the inside. So he did indeed concede the place and to Phil Hansen as well. So Colombo realizing he'd gained a great deal of momentum by straight lining turn two allows the top two back through so van der helm leads again phil and that's for tds racing by viant safety car is going to come out for the recovery of sam de Haan's aston martin so those early gaps will be negated we're back to green we are with nearly 12 minutes of the race already done, but not too much of that has been at racing speed. Over the line will go Time and Van der Helm for TDS Racing by Vaillant. Time and Van der Helm is wide, and that's all that Phil Hansen needs to take the race lead at Bose Corner. The double right hander and Van der Helm. Well, up the inside is fine, but the next corner's the right-hander, so has to get across the nose of Pierre, and that's brilliant car placement for the Brussels woman, and she stabs up the inside, around the outside, in fact, to take the race lead from Pierre Eret. Another safety car. And that'll be for the 15. They in the wall, tried to catch it, almost did, but lost the opportunity to st uh, pull that car up before the car clattered. Food's going down well there and into Europol competition. In comes the safety car. We are racing again. Phil Hansen is out front by not, not as much as he was at the, the point where the safety car kicked in, which was about two seconds. So all that hard work to do again. It is three abreast on the Mistral straight in LMP3, and that's not quite for the race lead, but the middle order is going to change an awful lot as they crest the rise. Round the outside is the recovering Jim Maguire car, in fact, so he's trying to stay out of this as much as possible as the rest of the field funnel through. Tom Van Rompuy right at the front of that little pack for third, DKR Engineering. That is it. It gone was, for a spin, it was so that a spin. will explain it. Explain it. It got as high as third position, dropped back to fifth. I guess I was scratching my head a the, little the curb, bit. Took too much curb. Yeah. Took too much curb, car unsettled, power goes in, round you go. It's very sideways 27. there. Jean Ludovic Fubert for Cool Racing. It is a safety car, spot on, Johnny. So, sadly, third safety car inside the first hour. They are bright green, so we're racing again for Time and van der Helm, Lorenzo Colombo, Fabio Scherer and Sofia Fleurs, the top four for TDS Racing. Joining right in front of a number of LMP two, uh, three cars, rather. There was some oh. contact with the 47, which also went for a spin. That's John Falb. Yeah, and John... Ooh, almost caught the front end of the car. 37 car through on the 22. Yeah, good move that, that from was Yifei Yifei Yifei. What a recovery from him, and... Yeah, Phil Hansen didn't like that, so we're going to have a little bit of side to side. Now, Yifei's going to have the inside line for Verary this time around, so can he keep Phil Hansen honest? Phil surely going to try around the outside, no, thinks better of it. I think if this had been the final lap, then he definitely would have kept the car on the right-hand side. Yifei Ye really pushing hard now for Sophia Flersch and Fabio Scherer. Scherer is in the Inter-Europol green and uh, yellow. Then the blue of Algarve Pro Racing. And you briefly can't even see Yifei Ye. He is so tightly bunched behind this duo. But Sophia Flersch is the one to move first to the outside as they approach Senior Corner. Still got about a third of the Mistral <laughs> straight to go. Maybe three abreast into Senior. Oh, and Yifei Ye gets the two of them. Unbelievable move on the inside as they head for turn eight. Excellent move. And also Phil Hansen just uh, took advantage of the lift there from the Inter-Europol car. He's come through as well. Great move from Yifei Ye, great move from Sophia Flersch, and a great move as well from Phil Hansen. 
first full course yellow of the race so far. So we've had three safety cars. Is that a tyre going down? Full course yellow removed. Full course yellow removed. So Ferdinand Habsburg, who is the new driver in the number nine car for Prima Racing, gets things going again out of Virage Dupont. Slotting between the two, the second place LMP2 oh. car is in a big moment for Nicholas Cruton. Was there touched. was contact there yeah. because there's now damage on the front of the car guy Ferrari. Towards in the latter part, Limestral closing, closing, closing again. Ricard leads. Porsche factory driver, three wide there for just a moment, and I think he's going to make it this time. Can he tough it out around the outside? Here comes the Porsche, and yes. does it, does it, makes the move. The 93 car moves up into a podium position ahead of Rahul Fry. Now this is Louis Delatran's move for the race lead, kicking up the dust there as he's straddling the white line, but he has out-muscled Duncan Tappy, who will be on older Goodyear tyres, and a more recent pit stop for Louis Delatraz. And the first uh, few minutes of this final hour, sadly, start with more dramas for Sebastian Alvarez. This time for DKR Engineering, his Duquesne is off the road. Finish. Here it goes. This time up the inside for Nicolapia. He's got him. Got it done. Well, Eastwood was all over the kerbs at five. That massively unsettled the car. And then brilliant car placement for the Swiss crew. Cool racing French driver Nicolas Lapierre. Louis Delatraz for the second year running. The young Swiss driver for a brand new team to the ELMS will take victory at their first attempt. Well done to Prima Racing. Woo! And here we go to the flag in GTE. They're together. Is there going to be an overlap? Is there room? There's not going to be quite enough. It's going to be Rinaldi Racing. Take the win. An amazing one. Again, a debut for Rinaldi Racing in GTE. <laughs> Malta Jakobsen in car 17, victorious, and that is confirmed on our screen. Cool racing, and Malta Jakobsen, after a stupendous drive from the young Dane, is the winner. That's your podium at the end of the 2022 opening round of the European Le Mans series. Prima Racing, victorious. <laughs> Class LMP2 and LMP2 Pro-Am. Victory for TF Sport prepared Racing Team Turkey, their second year of that particular combination. We move forward swiftly with GTE now, and in third position, it's the 93 Porsche for Michael Fassbender, Zach Robichon and Ricard Leitz Graham. And great to see that 77, Christian Reed with... Lorenzo Ferrari, isn't it? Uh, and uh, Gian Maria Bruni, so, so close at the end. And what a great result for Rinaldi Racing. Their debut in the class. Ima Gidley, Piero Rett, and Nicola Ferroni. And the number 32 Rinaldi Racing Ferrari takes a win in round one. So to the third step of the podium, it's Bailey Voisson, it's Josh Kegel and Finn Gersitz. Second place into Europol competitions, number 13 car for CR Cruz, Nicolas Pino and Guillaume Oliveira. But here are the team of the moment, and particularly Malta Jakobsen, the young man of the moment. It is Cool Racing's perfect opening to their season. Join us in Emilia Romagna around the historic Grand Prix circuit of Imola. Very different from this place. Who's going to be strongest there? Bye bye.